to decide uh, if an equation is a function and is or not is actually a pretty uh, difficult task. Um, over the years, I found a quicker way to help my student de decide which one is a function or not. Um, the quick answer for this particular question is that this one is a function and this one is not a function. Um, if you want to learn how to uh, tell quickly, uh, watch on. So the idea of how to tell a function or not, uh, let's give you an analogy. Instead of this vertical line test and a horizontal line test is really frustrating for a lot of students. You imagine yourself is standing on the x-axis. This is where all the students are. Okay, the y is actually the teams. So if you have a curve that looks like this, okay, and then you standing here, you're actually playing for two teams. You have team A, team B. So you have two competing teams. This is, is no fun, as in no function. This is not a function. Okay. So if the same person is playing for two soccer teams that's competing, then it's no fun, it's not a function. Okay. Um, versus, let's shift over a little bit over here. If you have a curve, looks like this way. Okay, standing on the x-axis is still our different students. Team is still over here. This is the y-axis. So this is the team. If you have a student A playing for this team, and you have a student B that looks like different playing for same team as well then this is a team sport this is fun okay. this is what we refer to in the textbook as the vertical line test and this is the horizontal line test so on and so forth but it gets really confusing quickly so what you need to do is draw the curve and then decide if I'm standing on the um, if I'm standing on the x-axis over here, do I end up playing with two teams? If so, then it's not a function, it's no fun. If you have a curve look like this, where there's one team okay, coming down here, you have a multiple of students, which is the x-axis, that play on the same team, then that's a fun. Now next question you're going to ask is how do I get this curve? Curve is really easy to get once you realize it's from the equations. Okay. So you make a table, x and y. Now remember, y is the team, right? x is the student. So what you want to do is you want to pick two different students. You have 1 and minus 1. If you have the same team, that's fine. Different students for the same team, that's fine. Okay. If you make another one, you have 9y squared minus 2x equal to 7. And do the same thing here. x and y. Okay, y again is the team. This is the student. You do 1 and minus 1. So you do the same, same idea. If x is equal to y and 1 here, if you solve for y here, you have 30 minus x squared, which is minus 1. Let's just write 30 minus 1 divided by 9. That's it. Okay. So I'm just solving this equation, substituting x equal to 1. Again, x equal to 1, so 1 squared is 1. I'm going to subtract 1 on both sides. I have 30 minus 1. And divided by 9, I have the y. Okay. Do the minus 1. I have 30 minus 1 also. Okay. So two different players, they're playing for the same team. Okay. This is the fun, which is, yes, it is a function. Okay. Now let's take a look at what happens on this side. If you have 1 over here, let's solve for this one. So you have 7 minus, minus 2, because x equal to 1, and minus 2 times 1, and add 2 on both sides. You have 7 plus 2 divided by 9. Since this is radic uh, y squared, you need to take the radical roots, plus, minus. Uh-oh, so the same person is playing for two teams. No fun. Okay, we put a minus 1 here, 
it becomes 7 minus 1 times minus 2, that's a positive 2 on this side, you shift it over, it becomes that, divided by 9, take a radical root, plus minus, uh oh, same student, playing for two teams, no fun. Alright, hope this helps, have a confident day.